Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Now this video is special because as you see in the title we are here today with Quell. That is Quell. I am Quell. <laughs> Hi guys. I, I worked on this map. I did this map with a few others and I made all the skins and I made most of the enemies and I'm happy to be here. So yeah. What we're gonna do today is first we're gonna take a first impression of the new map with Quell and afterwards we're gonna talk about how the design of enemies changed, how the map changed and what were the thoughts and ideas to make this update what it is today, which is really, really excited. Without further ado, let's take a sneak peek at the map. Okay, here we are. Looks... Oh, got teleported back. Looks cool so far. First thing I notice is oh, blotchy no. everywhere. <gasps> Did they do this just for me? Huh? I have a follower. Bruh! I have my own son. What is that? <laughs> Did, Did Hilo do this for me? Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Which we can already see when we go to the building tab that we got a little light buddy now. Which, that's cute. Look at that. Is Blotchy still gonna be an enemy now though? Uh, he should be. That I that I do know. He should be. Oh look, the tire goblins! The tire goblins! Whoa! <laughs> we just bounce him. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> look at the little face! <laughs> hey, it's Blotchy! Whoa, he's... Fast! Hey, he's so fast! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Can you try to make like a drawing on the ground with your blood sheet? Now we're just oh, waiting. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna try making a flower. Okay, Watch make it make a flower. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, this trails actually takes a long time to disappear. Oh too bad. Yeah, I made a flower. Yeah! <laughs> it was there for a bit, you saw it. I saw it a little bit, kind of. It wasn't a flower. I'm great at but... making flowers. <laughs> Uh, I named him and I designed him and I can't wait to see him. Oh, there he is! He's got this cool music. Oh my god. Oh, that's. Oh, he does the same as the knight. That's cool. Oh, dude, he glows. That's really cool. I'll have to show you the concept art now that he's having. I mean, we're gonna die though. Um, so, oh, wait, yeah, hold on. So hold we on. might. <laughs> oh, yes, we can see other people's range now, yes. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> oh, we're dying! Oh, I don't. Oh, will, will he die? No, we're losing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we probably should have built more fences. Yep. I mean, you oh, don't expect bad. that on an easy map to lose without no. fences, to be honest. I mean, we didn't bring the best of anything. units, though. I didn't place any lemonade cats and stuff. Yeah. I was too into the map. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. Bop. Oh, there he goes. Ooh. This is scrapped. I don't think it'll ever come because of the reason it was scrapped. So. Okay, so what was the reason for it being scrapped? Uh, this was going to be a fracture skin, of course, but something came up and I was told the information that the way uh, his texture UV map is, I think, it would make it difficult to skin him properly. Oh. So I had to use a different character. But they can really easily fix it if they make the texture in Substance Painter. So I feel like... That, that's the thing, like what I don't like when they say something got scrapped because it was like the UV maps or something doesn't work. It's like, for one, why did you make the UV map so bad that it doesn't work? And the second thing is, there is always a way around it. Like, always. Even if you gotta redo the texture map. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say to this... I honestly liked uh, the scientist one more because since this was scrapped, I then went to scientist. And I think that one turned out even better. It did. So your ID was oil. Like... Yep, it was... Fossil fuel fracture. I really like the little plant on the crown. That's really cute. Yep, thank you. Uh, 
So now we can have a smooth transition into, I think, the scientist skin that took over that. So the next one we're going to talk about is this scientist skin. So it basically got in the game, like almost the way it is. Like what, what changed about it in the final design that you don't I agree think with? it's just the laser, but honestly, I knew that the laser would be kind of hard to do with how it was, the pattern. I didn't know if that was possible. But other than that, it came out pretty much exact. It came out very much exact. And it's really cool to see the transition from like the artwork to the final design. Oh yeah, for sure. I think the only thing that didn't make it is the line. Like the, you got like a line on the machine. I remember that, yeah. Uh, Which that maybe actually wouldn't be too hard to add. But it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. Yeah. Let me think. What should I show you next? I think I can show you the Hot Dog Frank one so you can realize I didn't put the glasses. You did put the glasses. No, I didn't. I put the glasses, but they weren't those kind. Uh, yeah, no, the Frank. Yeah. The glasses were just going to be like normal. I mean, they still look douchey. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. Like, I don't have yeah. Frank with me right now, so I can't really compare. But he looks basically like he does in-game, which is cool. You want to know a fun fact? Sure. His uh, shoe pattern, I based off Blotchy's bandana. It is, actually. Now that you mm -hmm. mentioned, that's really cool. So they match. Yeah, that's cool. Like, it didn't change that much, and it just shows that it was a really good design. So this is the the concept art for the skin and like seeing it in game it is so far basically exactly the same. I see that the little red heart out of the key for some reason just has a hole now. No idea why. Yeah. But other than that it looks pretty much the same except for the roof. Like it got a diamond instead of jewelry and I think I actually like that more than the original design. Yeah, me too change i think they changed the word jewelry because words aren't very uh like it depends on what language you speak and there's a lot of people who speak different languages and might not know what that means that's true but it's it's a really nice skin i actually really like that it's the the gem on there mm -hmm. i like it too it's actually a really good skin yeah, now we're gonna go to the boss, which you said it changed a lot, right? Oh yeah, originally he started out as this. Bruh, look at what it used to be. It's absolutely, actually insane how much it changed. <laughs> I had to do a lot of concepts. <laughs> so this is what the boss originally was gonna be. And it's, th that's an insane switch. From going to oh, yeah. robot to paint can. That's really cool. I actually do gotta say, I really like that you switch it up to the paint can because I feel like the paint can is way better. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was maybe Smelly's idea. The paint can? Yeah, he said to make it, I think, look a little bit more inspired uh, to paint like blotchies and then, you know, add all the graffiti to the map to give it a little bit more personality. Yeah, I really like like the switch. Yeah, so that was originally going to be Rush Hour, as you can see right there. There was his name. Yes, the name is pretty good. Yeah, but then I had to create Stain, and Stain. Oh, he was mwah, he was beautiful. <laughs> so then we arrive at this concept art of Stain, which. Basically got in the game exactly like this. Mm -hmm. They changed his name, I'm pretty sure, to Radioactive Stain in the final one. I'm not sure if they changed the middle one. Yeah, but I mean the name. I, I really like the fact that basically the final one is inverted. Mm -hmm. Like almost, like it's not exactly inverted because there are some colors that are different. But I really like it. I really like the final one. Yeah, I think they all turned out to be pretty good color sets. How do you think it translated to the game, like from a designer's perspective? Uh, 
I think it translated very well. There was only a few details that weren't captured and that's, you know, common when you transition something from art into a model. I'm really happy with how it turned out and I'm uh, thankful to Hilo for making it look so good. <laughs> and like, what kind of details are you missing, for example? Um, like you see how there's some paint dripping out of the spray cans and nozzle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was to kind of signify that that was his paint color. Uh, that was removed, which is, you know, small detail. Oh, okay. And then the lines on the paintbrush, if you look at the bottom of the paintbrush, there was going to be lines for each of them. Uh-huh. And those are removed, I'm pretty sure. Okay, but this is not too bad. Yeah. So they're just like small things. Yeah, it's really cool how they translated that actually. I don't know about you guys, but me personally, I always get so, so excited when looking at how gameplay or game design evolved before it finally reaches the game. And it was such a cool opportunity to see all the concept art of all the cool bosses and enemies and even the skins that made it in this update. Really cool. Of course, I will be leaving Quell's YouTube channel in the link in the description. She actually makes some pretty high quality videos, so I do recommend you to check it out. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!